what's up everybody welcome back to the channel and uh to the project that let me get the camera straight first but welcome back to the channel and to the project that fishing kid 06 and i have not done yet um so we actually haven't touched the boat since we shot the video stating that we were going to do the boat so today we're going to start the tear down on the boat um, as you can see the boat is full of junk uh, it's full of junk so we need to start just getting everything can out we, can, can you pull huh can we get that way i'm not pulling the boat up there right now well we could but i mean his boat is heavier than mine i think his his trailer is heavier or something it's easier to pull my boat around and my boat's bigger than this um can you pull the blue trash can back here? Get the big can. So we're gonna pull the big trash can back here and um, just start gutting the boat. So I've never tried time lapse before. I think we're gonna do that right about now. Okay, so that's far as we can go for today. Fishing kid is getting torn up by mosquitoes, so we gotta call it. Um, I gotta get the tarps out of this other boat because it's breeding mosquitoes, but, so I'm gonna show you guys the inside of this boat. So if you, we were literally using a snow shovel to pull rotten wood out of this boat. Um, completely decayed and rotted. That used to be wooden decking, and that's gone. Um, this over here, when he first bought the boat, was, I think he's, this was a, like a, a jury rig live well. So it became storage, and I think it was like a five-year-old bag of corn in there where he had been feeding squirrels. Uh, found a couple things that are still usable. I swear, no this boat does not belong to a cat fisherman. Um, pulled all the wiring out, and... Uh, more wire what I one thing I'm noticing is that all the wiring that was in here is completely corroded stuff um, let me see if you guys can see this these connections of corrosion the metal is exposed so the positive and the negative the uh, heat shrink and the duct tape all that's gone so that was exposed wiring in a boat um, yeah so I'm not even gonna reuse this this is not tinned copper it's not marine copper. It's gonna corrode, um, oxidize. So this is all going in the trash. Um, that's 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 junk. I'm gonna end up taking this lid off. So that'll be you know in the future. But I'm gonna take this lid off. Uh, move to the back. Again, um, just gotta get next steps for this. We're gonna vacuum this out. Get all of the debris out. Um, we're gonna rip this carpet off the sides. Take those paddle holders clips off. Um, seat off and then we're going to start with the front deck so um, I'm not going to bore you guys by time lapse in a vacuum cleaner but once we get it completely stripped um, the next video will probably be dealing with this here the adhesive left over when we pull the carpet off uh, I've got an idea of what I'm what is this I 
I don't know what this is. I just found some tubing. Caleb, look. Mm -hmm. I just found tubing with the bag over the end of it. Why would he have that? A I don't I don't even know what this goes to. I have no idea. Somebody who probably whoever had the boat before him probably did it. People come up with some craziness, man. Thinking they're doing something slick and genius. I don't even see anything back here. I wonder where that thing goes. Oh, here we go. It's just to open into hose back here. So there, there, there's nothing back there. There's hose just. It sounds like there's water in it. I don't know what this could have done. Um, it's fuel line, outboard motor fuel line. So, quite possibly this person was running a fuel tank up front and running the fuel line all the way back to the motor back there in the side of the boat. Um, How's that possible? It's possible, but we won't be running fuel line the length of a boat. No, not on a portable gas tank. Um, the next part of the video, this will be cleaned out and all the carpet will be off. Um, I'll tell you how I ended up getting the carpet off and then we'll start from there. So um, this was just cleaning everything out, seeing what we found, seeing what was in here. The, the physical hull of the boat looks fine. Um, we found a bunch of tubing and we found a bunch of wiring and we found a bunch of corrosion and um, exposed wires, severed wires. We found a lot. So that's that. If you have any questions. Um, or ideas or suggestions or you know maybe something you want to see me try on the boat let me know um, we're going to take that trolling motor bracket off too and we'll completely redo a different one for that so you got anything he doesn't have anything bye one more thing before we go in i forgot this is everything we pulled out of the boat um trolling motor net um old depth finder rod straps, tubing, clamps, brackets, fishing lures, pliers. But the one thing I want to point out, who needs three boat anchors on a 12 foot boat? So that's probably 40 pounds of steel that you're lugging around that you don't need to. Um, talk about cutting weight out of the boat. That's a small child. So we got a 15 pound, two 15 pound anchors and a 10 pound anchor. This 40 pounds in just anchors. Why? Come on, man. Why you need all that in a boat? Unnecessary.